hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> My biggest critic, old Smido. He likes to go through my accounts, don't you, Smido? Watch all my videos, leave an opinion. <laughs> go on, Smido, lad, team Porky. Right. I'm going to do a video about Eduardo's little speech. I couldn't help myself, could I? Now, what I have a problem with about Eduardo's speech. Yeah, it was uh, inspiring in some parts, but uh, what are these doing here, these plant pots here? What are they doing? Look at this lot here. Oh my god, at half past seven, Ferry Bridge we've got traffic inch to inch, that's not good. Uh, it's alright for Eduardo to come out with all that, innit? And, be nice to people and do this and do that. We're talking about money, we're earning a million pound a week, surrounded by security guards, living in a bubble, right? Born with a silver spoon in his mouth. <laughs> He's never suffered hardship in his life. In his life! He's kind of coming out with stuff like that, like he's the saviour of the world. Oh. My. God. Oh my God. Unbelievable. That was unbelievable. I swear to God, honestly. Cringe. Inspiring in some parts, but the other parts he were going on he were going on about. Look, like I've just said, the man is living in a goldfish bowl. Alright? He's living in a goldfish bowl. He don't understand what's going on in the real world. All they're interested in is money. I mean, it was me that told everybody, everybody, about the 25 quid pay-per-view, and you all said they were crazy, didn't you? Ah, Porky! You're crazy, Porky! You're crazy! It's 20 pound pay-per-view! Well, it's 25, but let me tell you this. And nobody's told me this one. Fury Joshua will be more than 25 quid because this man cannot help himself greed is his motive he's not bothered about pride and morals all the stuff he said about fury and all that and then they send adam smith over there with an olive branch what olive branch fight pool left with no rematch clause that's what i want to see get pool left fought they don't, don't want to fight him, do they, Pulef? They get beat against Pulef. Where, where, where are they going then? It's all in dog pan, isn't it? It's all in dog's dinner job. Prepare to keep going. Look at this here, man. Terrible, this traffic. So, I don't know what he's going on about. The guy's a complete helmet. It's weapon behaviour. It's a pity that Bean has already won weapon of the week because Eddie Hearn had win it for them comments, wasn't it? Some of it were a little bit inspiring as I've just said, but come on. The man's the man's trying to be street cred. Street cred Essex basled them, but really he's a great Wally, isn't he? Do you know what I mean? Great born in Great Wally, but Redwood fetched up round there, isn't it? Onto the motorway. So you know, it's uh, helmet behaviour. That was helmet behaviour on a massive, massive scale. Weapon, the general weaponness over it is unbelievable. It's like the thing that everybody else ain't got a clue. 
Now keep right. So but no, I'm not impressed at all. Oh, I've missed turn off now, I'll have to go to the next one. Jeez. Time in, I'm gonna be late. general weaponness over it over that speech I mean why did he have to why is Coogan doing 1 minute 20 sit downs with him but only 25 minutes with Frank Warren why is that because Eddie overdoes it doesn't it they just want to drown everybody out everybody what well, they've gone now they've gone on a media offensive now right where they're just going to drown everybody out they're going to pull all favours in Behind the gloves, AFL, boxing, social, big yawn. I mean, when Coogan were talking to Eddie, they were going on about Dillian White and all that. Please keep left. When Eddie. Um, 62 toward Manchester. When, when, uh, when Eddie were reeling off all the fights that hadn't happened for Dillian, he forgot to mention that Dillian White refused the Joshua fight, two Ortez fights and Eddie Hearn said that Dillian White is, has been a WBC man all his career but well, why did they go for a purse bid then for IBF? Matchroom put a bid in for Pula for IBF so that's a lie isn't it? I know exactly how much purse bid were I've got at home on my computer with 1.6 million dollars 1.6 million dollars, right? So, if you put in purse bids in for IBF, how are you a WBC man all your career? Move to the right. The lies just jump out of the mouth. They just jump out. You know what I mean? They just jump out. So, look at this here, man. So, you know what I mean? Please keep right and Just jump the out. M 62 toward Manchester. So that's about it really. I'm going to concentrate now, unplug this gimbal now and just chill. But like I've just said to you there, lies, lies and more lies. Dillian White has had ample opportunity <coughs> to fight for world titles. He chose money before legacy. So don't start squealing now, you're being freezed out till next Feb. You know what I mean? Don't start squealing about Wilder took your opportunity and blah, de, uh, Fury took your opportunity and blah, de, blah. You've had ample opportunity, Dillian White, to fight for a world title. You've not even fought for a European. Caballel's team wanted you to fight him for European because they wanted to get on pay-per-view. But you didn't want to fight Caballel for the European title. Facts. Facts. All right. Peace out. <laughs> you liked that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me. PorkyCorner at mail.com. Alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. Alright? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking. <laughs>